love left, I'll do right by you I'll be your everything, your blue sky All right, here we go. Welcome back. Welcome back. Right. Welcome back to the Professional Step That Show. I am your host, Franco Zavala. Thank you very much for joining me. This is episode 106 of the show. Um, it's been an it's been an interesting few weeks, mainly because like I have so much I want to talk about, and there's only there's only so many hours in the day that you have, right, in order to um, kind of knock out the things that you want to do and and accomplish the certain goals and and, and things you want to um, uh, you know get done in order to really find success in anything that you're building you're doing and um, all my momentum and all my focus wants to go to creating a show every single day and posting as much as I possibly can about things that I'm going through or things that um, other step parents are going through we just got done with spring break it was two weeks and um, something I learned few years ago as a stepdad shit as a parent is I don't want to not be present with my kids I don't want to be so overwhelmed by my my desire and my need to be successful and my desire and my need to grow the show that I forget that I only have a certain amount of time with the kids before they're gone they're off to college right and I've experienced that with two girls already and I'm my daughter Clara who's my middle child, she's gonna be going soon. So I wanted to make sure that I stayed present and I stayed in the moments, whether it was, and let me just tell you, it was tough. And it's tough because there are a lot of times that I feel like I'm not accomplishing something, therefore I'm lazy, therefore I'm not successful, therefore, you know, the show's not gonna work or, you know, it's just that self-doubt that starts creeping in because you're not knocking out and doing the things you wanna do. But being present and staying in the moments with your kids is worth it's weight in gold. And I wanted to come on here today because everybody went back to school today. So this would be the first episode back after spring break. And it was all this, you know, I want to just talk about the fact that I took the last two weeks and I was present. Whether it was teaching my son about baseball, which I didn't even know he liked, but what do you know? To um, hanging out by the pool with my youngest daughter, Afton who just loves quality time. And, and I love just talking with her. She's so smart. Um, and I'm just so happy that I'm aware of it, right? So today's, today's episode is going to be centered and focused around being aware of staying present when you're needed, stepdads. Okay, so you've already done the work, right? You've done all the work, or maybe you're working your ass off in order to try to build a new foundation and a new sense of um, habits and routines and positive things for your family. You want to build the trust with not only your children, but with your partner. And, um, and also, you know, really working on yourself, making sure that you can get past your old habits, which is very hard, very hard to do. And, um, and you, and we tend when we're, while we're doing these things, while we're trying to put our attention here, here, and here, what we do is we tend to forget that it's the little things that matter. It's the little things. It's the conversations. It's the moments in, that you spend with your kids at bedtime. When you, maybe you're not reading them a story. Maybe you're just asking them about their day. Or you're listening to your teenage daughters complain about X, Y, and Z in high school or a friend that's being this or, or something that's not working for them. And, and that, they're not necessarily looking for a solution. Something that I learned as a, as a husband and as a father is especially with girls, with my stepdaughters, especially with girls, when they are telling you and complaining to you about something that's going on, they are not always looking for a solution. Sometimes they just need an ear to bend. And, and more things that I've learned over the last 12 years of being a stepdad. So but stay present, stay present in the moments because you'll never know what moment is gonna be that game changer for you. Maybe you're struggling right now. Maybe you're struggling with yourself, with your partner, with your kids. Maybe you're not getting the respect, the love, the admiration, and the desire to be, you know, this, this, this feeling that you're looking for within your home. Maybe it's not there. Maybe you're struggling to find it. Maybe you're questioning your, your values. Maybe you're questioning your methods. Am I doing the right thing? Am I in the right place? And I could tell you that if you could be aware 
of the moments. Stay present in the moments that matter, the little ones, the baseball throwing catch or the swimming or the talking about your day or just listening, these little tiny things. If you could stay, if you could be aware of those moments and you can learn to shut your mouth and just listen, you will, you will find that that's your breakthrough. That's, that, that's the time that's gonna matter the most. This is the things that they remember the most. And it's, it's worth it, stepdads. It's worth it to stop trying so hard to fit a round peg in a square hole. Don't question why you're there. Don't question your, your ability to be a leader and a great husband and a great father. Don't question that. You shouldn't question that. You're there already, okay? Don't question that. You need to question your methods and how you can take a step back and stay present in the moments. How you could take a step back and not solve a problem, but just listen. How you could take a step back and go, man, I really want to, man, I really should be getting in there and working on a new episode or, or whatever your work is. But, you know, and then your daughter comes in and says, hey, you want to go swimming with me? Yes, I do. Even though my initial reaction was, no, I want to get to work. Yes, I do. Because they're, they're going to be those little things that, that build up and that, and, the, and those are going to be the, the things that, that establish your place within the home. So you can finally feel like you belong, you're trusted, you're valued. So all those staying in the moments, all those times when you're doing so and you're staying present, they are building up your value. This is the hard work I'm always talking about. These are the steps, and these are the blocks that you have to put on top of one another in order to find your value, find your place within the home, and then without you even realizing the stepdads, it will pay off. It will pay off and you will, and at first you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna be kind of, you're gonna question it, you're gonna be like, wait a minute. But if you can just remember that the reason it's paying off is because you're doing the work needed. And of course you're doing the work when it comes to like reading the books and working on yourself and working on you and your partner and, and really developing that teamwork and working on your love languages and how to properly communicate with your kids. Of course you're doing all that. But none of that, no seminar, no workshop, no podcast, no show, no anything can prepare you, actually can, can deliver to you better results than staying present and being aware of it so that you can put all your attention into the little things, the little moments. So that's what I learned on the spring break. I learned on the spring break that I just wanted to stay present. I wanted to be in the moment. I wanted, instead of like thinking, oh, the kids are good, they're all together, they just go play, I can hang out and watch TV or just hang out at the beach because it's where we went or just come home and do the things that I want to do. I decided that I was going to take this pet these last two weeks and I was going to just say yes to damn near everything. And it worked. And it always, it wasn't great all the time. Meaning sometimes um, it would get to me because I struggle just like every other man and I have every other stepdad and every other adult and every other parent. I struggle with the fact that I should be doing this, but now I find myself doing that. And it's because I'm, I'm not placing enough value on the little things. So place value on the little things. Place value on the small moments. Place value on the time that you can spend with your kids while they're there, even if it's just listening, even if it's just throwing a ball, even if it's just swimming, even if it's just laying with them in bed. Maybe you don't say a word. Maybe just your presence alone just allows them to feel safe and comfortable. These are the things that will pile up and, and, and will lead to your greatness as a parent, as a husband, as a stepdad, and as a man, as a father, as a leader. These are the things that will matter. So anyway, um, that's it guys, episode 106. Oh, if you have not, please like, subscribe, share to the show on YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. We're on TikTok, Instagram, theprofessionalstepdad.com. Head over there, take a look, send me an email if you if you like to chat or want to be on the show or have a question or concerns or maybe, I don't know, maybe just going through some shit you need to hear, you need somebody to just listen because I'm really good at that. Um, remember to hit that notification button, really does help. Leave a comment if you can. And, you know, this uh, the rest of this year, spring break is over before summer break, but spring break is over. So we're going to be going 
going crazy, try to get a couple episodes out a week. And um, I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about being guests and talking and and uh, more, more important, I'm excited for you. And I'm blessed that you're listening and I'm blessed that you're here. So, yeah. All right, guys, have an amazing day. Damn right. Thank you, everybody.